Hello, everybody, and welcome to Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader, a CRPG by the guys that made the Pathfinder, Kingsmaker, Pathfinder, Wrath, Wrath of the Righteous. Um, two games that are expansive and very mechanics heavy, and this is kind of the same, but with a little more XCOM combat instead of the real time with pause. We're gonna start a new game here. Yes, we understand. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it on the main difficulty if I need to turn it down just to get through some stuff, but I want the best experience. So yeah, we are, we're taking up the trade of a rogue trader. Is it loading a cutscene? What's going on here? Okay, no. So we're gonna be picking our class and stuff. Okay, we're gonna create a custom character. Let's go to appearance. I like the look of this man. My my mouse just happened to hover over it, but he looks like the most rogue traitor out of all of them. I like that like when you click on them, it like gives you <laughs> Yeah, that's my dude, bro. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so good. Yo, he looks cool. Damn, she looks fucking crazy. She looks like one of those bitches that you do not put a baby in. You do not <laughs> Put your dick in that, dude. <laughs> oh. She's cool. I like the little nose things they got going on here. Yo, she's badass. Missing a leg? No, she's not. Never mind. What? <laughs> what is that? Oh, uh, he is a psyker for sure. So is she. I guess the psychers are the only two there. Pretty much. I think we're gonna go with the boy. The big boy. He is he is an absolute unit, this man. What is this? Parents color scheme? Clothes not yet available. Show clothes. Huh. Show backpack? I don't know what any of this means. So let's go to appearance. I think we're going to keep everything relatively good. I do love the hair. The hair is so nice. I think it's quite funny. Should we give him a beard? What do you get a big beard? Ooh, that doesn't match the yeah, that doesn't match the picture. And I kind of want to keep that. Where is the where is the facial hair that he just had? Was it this one? I don't think so. I think it was eh, close enough, honestly. I think it was this one. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let's just fucking hit the back button. We can just go to. Yeah, I guess it was. Custom portrait. Ooh, we could put our own little portrait in there. No, but I'm look. I'm liking the the cut of this man's jib here. Should we give him like a sick ass tattoo, like a fucking skull right in the middle of his forehead? Nah, that's stupid. <laughs> Augmentations. Ooh, you can you can really show off some of your fucking weird get some weird shit with chrome dome literal chrome dome that looks pretty fancy just the the little you can see there or an iron chin i think i'm just gonna do these little ones i think that's fair i have a whole iron jaw that's crazy Golden nose. No, I think we're good. Voice? 
Excellence matters. I'll see you terminated. You know, that's pretty fucking good. That's pretty spot on, I'd say, all around. So now we get to pick our home world. Death world, void born, hive world, forge world, imperial world, or fortress world. I'm leaning towards imperial world. I have looked at these prior. Uh, Imperial world character characteristics can select any characteristic except weapon skill and ballistic skill and add 10 points. That's pretty good. It's really good for a persuasion build. And this guy looks like he's from nobility. So we will go fellowship, I believe is the one. Character's ability to interact with other creatures. Maybe not. No, but that does sound like, that sounds like, you know, strength, health. Uh, That's probably like, Oh, dodge chance. Okay, intelligence, I'm assuming, is a reason. Knowledge, perception, willpower. I'm gonna go fellowship. Uh, yeah, it also affects persuasion, coercion, and commerce skills, so I'm gonna go with that. Now our origin. What are we gonna be from? Probably noble? Noble sounds good. He looks very noble. Um, you serve me. Noble assigns one ally who will become their servant until the end of combat. Anytime the nobility, noble's abilities affect the servant, the servant gains plus five to all characteristics until the start of the noble's next turn. Anytime the servant attacks the target that the noble has dealt damage with to last turn, gains plus whatever critical hit chance okay this can only be used once per combat plus i get fellowship intelligence coercion persuasion yeah yeah that's that's where i'm at right now you do something you go on you're are you next kill you yeah we're going noble Ooh, do we want persuasion, commerce, or coercion? You had a rival rival noble house. Interesting. I think we're just gonna go regular persuasion. Cause I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more in those. Those kind of checks. God, I'm losing it. Darkest hour. What is our darkest hour? Brand of Shame, Shadow of Torment, Grim Pro... Protense. Uh, minus five on Lore Warp. Minus five on Imperium, that doesn't sound good. Minus four of Coercion. So I'm gonna go with the Lore Warp because I want the Coercion. Is affected by Toughness characterization. Oh, okay. Represents ability to resist negative effects applied by some points. Oh, poisons, stimulators, and alcohols may give you access to new dialogue options. So that's actually not that bad. We are gonna go warp though, just because the warp is forever unknowing what the fuck it is. For our class or archetype per se, so the warrior is melee, the soldier is ranged, obviously, and then the officer use their willpower and fellowship to improve combat capabilities of their allies, turning them into even greater threats. So they can, I believe, like, they can, like, give extra turns to people. Uh, here we go. Uh, fully push themselves, increasing characteristics by whatever for one round. Okay, so it basically just buffs the shit out of them for what they're already good at. What do operatives do? An operative is intelligence or perception. 
to find and exploit weaknesses and enemies. Okay, so they're a debuffer. So you got the buffer, the debuffer, the shooter, bang bang, and the and the sortie dude. So I think we're going officer. I uh, the noble really uh, wants the fellowship and the persuasion, which is super good. I think we'll definitely go officer. We're gonna be in the back mostly, buffing our party members. Like a like a ro like a true leader, <laughs> yeah. uh, but we can be master tactician, grand strategist, or vanguard. Can I look at these? Uh, always have to think about all the. Uh, that's probably not it. Master tacticians are harness momentum of their party to. Okay, so that's like a whole other thing. Grand strategist positioning their allies for themselves and their allies the grand strategist is able to increase their battle effectiveness for the party by designating and strengthening important parts of the battlefield that sounds like our next level up grand strategist was the other one vanguard is that just a unstoppable force yeah unyielding beacon huh okay well yeah we're gonna go officer for now Let's go next. Now we have 30 points available, and I believe they only go up by five. Yeah, and we can only put two in. So I'm going to say probably put two into fellowship. Just get that pump that up. We do need willpower. Um. Coercion, coercion is being buffed to 60. Wow. Okay. Uh, so that makes persuasion 65, commerce 55. I think we're also going to bump up our ballistic skill so we can at least do some sort of damage. And then I'm guessing intelligence, right? Because that, well, that doesn't really do what I want it to. Perception, awareness, uh, compasses, subconscious ability to react to things. Oh, yeah, that's, I guess that's like, uh, oh, noticing traps and other shit. Yeah, awareness, fucking, just like in every other game. Demolition is agility, though. That's odd. Used to deactivate traps. Um, maybe we go willpower. Withstand the warp. Kind of give us less negative effects. I think is good. I think that looks okay. That's a good spread, I guess. And then we only have one class, uh, one, uh, let's randomize the name here for a bit. Redemption, nah. First Forged. Well, that makes sense for our, our first ship, our first playthrough. Well, it's not my first playthrough, but uh, y you get it. I've, I've looked over this screen before. I haven't gotten that far into the game. So we're a little down on lore warp. But everything else looks pretty good. Lazarus. That's cool. Probably not, though. He looks like a Wilbur. Am I right? You look like a Wilbur. Let's make him a Wilbur. That's good. Let's jump into it now.
an excellent place for contemplation. One has the best view of the cathedral from here. Mesmerizing, wouldn't you say? An impeccable manifestation of the God Emperor sublimity. One thing that I do love about this game is that you can hover over these highlighted words and it'll give you basically a, a synopsis of what that is. True, all, truly an awe-inspiring sight. Frankly, such as us are retiring at times. <laughs> all this ostentatious, ostentatious luxury is laughably pretent. What the fuck, dude? Truly an awe-inspiring sight. Mm -hmm. That is the purpose of all temples to the God Emperor. To inspire awe and reverence. For it is the duty of his servants to persevere in their tireless service until they are presented with a chance to give their very life for the master of humanity. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce myself. Kunrad Voitfeer, master of whispers, in the employ of her ladyship rogue trader Theodora von Valencius, at your service. I haven't had the pleasure of speaking with you in person before. Oh my god, our guy is so pompous as fuck. Duke Wilbur Eos Vernia de Val F. Plaskis. <laughs> you can call me your grace. My deepest respects to you, your grace. A noble of the Imperium. It's been a long time since Providence lost brought such eminent guests aboard this vessel. Um, so I probably am going to be going over these highlighted sections. If you just want to pause the video and read that for yourself, uh, unless I don't know what it is, then I'm going to read it. I will be frank with you. You may forget your past titles, no matter. And I didn't who do that for the rogue trader. I realize what that, but... their origins are from the moment you and the other candidate were brought aboard this void ship. Your fate changed. You now serve Lord Captain Theodora von Valencius and carry the burden of an heir of this house. Henceforth, you share your dynastic name with her ladyship. Bear it with honor. Lord Captain, a strange title for Lady Theodora. Such are the traditions of the Imperium. Lord Captain is the title that was established in the annals of the Lex Imperialis at the time when the first rogue traders entered the Gold Emperor's service. And therefore, it is sacrosanct. Why am I aboard this vessel? Why have I been here? I carry a curious title, Master of Whispers. What are your responsibilities? To put it plainly, I am the head of the network of spies and informers who serve the interests of House von Valencius. I uncover weak links both among Lady Theodora's retinue and in the ranks of her rivals. I eliminate our vulnerabilities and exploit those of others. Sounds like an officer, or I think that's what the class is called. <laughs> uh. Why am I here? Why, why so am I that here? You may fulfill your blood duty. Whatever obligations you had before, they are henceforth null and void. By order of the Lord Captain, you have been requisitioned to serve the rogue trader, indeed blessed by the God Emperor. So the rogue trader is basically like someone who can go and is in charge of like expanding the empire, I believe. They can go anywhere, do anything. They they have a lot of uh, leeway with the law. Your former position may have been different from conventional service as part of one of the institutions of the Imperium. But from now on, a different fate awaits you. One chosen for you by the Lord Captain. I advise you to come to terms with this reality as quickly as possible. You say I am one of the road traders heirs, so there's another candidate? There is. And you will meet him soon enough. Okay. 
Uh, tell me about whose ship I found myself on. I would rather not discuss the Lord Captain behind her back. Especially not on board her ship. No one knows better than I that whispers are wont to attract particularly close attention. <laughs> oh, suffice it to say that her ladyship is the bearer of the sacred warrant of trade and a woman of immense power and entitlement. However privileged your position may be, I ask that you do not incur her anger by being disrespectful or obtuse. Lady Theodora despises both qualities. Can I? Okay, so it does have an ex... Oh, here we go. There you go. You can pause that and read that, but... Super cool. The Canaris Expanse. That's where we're at. We'll get to all that. Uh, I assume you had a goal in mind when you decided to seek me out. Let, let us address it. But of course... I have come to invite you to a meeting with Lady Theodora. I imagine you have many questions for your patroness, and I'm sure she has just as many questions for you. It is regrettable that you haven't yet had an opportunity to speak. It has been an arduous voyage thus far. The Lord's Captain and Master Edelthrad von Valencius are conversing on the observation platform. Let us join them there. Yeah, I'm gonna have a hard ass time with these fucking names. But here we go, we can finally move around. Follow Kungrad. WSD to move the camera. Typical CRPG controls. Interactable objects. Has that symbol if you can interact with it. Hold tab to highlight. Very good, very good. Massive comfort table, obviously cracked with real wood. The resource of incredible value aboard a void ship. Oh, I can show the data on the vid screen. Oh, okay. There's a lot to click on. And he's getting away from me. Where the hell did he go? Can zoom in. Oh, dude, look at Wilbur. He's such a fucking, One of the such a dude. Trophy rooms. Perhaps you would like to take a look around after your audience with the Lord Captain. our first taste of combat i'll see you terminated sure is oops got to lock my mouse to my screen it went to my other computer uh to survive the grim darkness of the far future you will face enemies of all kind fight for your life uh these hints of tutorials is the yeah, 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 yeah. got it okay so for now we just gotta start the battle see the turn order here I'm coming up, dude. Oh. Yikes. Yeah, okay, he is. Okay, it takes place on a grid, kind of like XCOM. You have highlighted abilities, you have movement points, and then you have action points. Very, very interesting here. You can pause on those was there one of them? yeah turn based obviously abilities but it's kind of like xom where you have i'm actually gonna stand behind this dude and then once you click there he won't move there so you can uh you can like do like different ability like see i can see if i shoot at him from this position I have an 85% chance to hit, and it'll do that much damage. Now, if I were to 
say move over here and then do the same thing 85 percent yeah doesn't change but let us so i have you serve me and i have voice of command the officer voices okay yeah that's the one that pushes my allies to be better are any of them coming up before they're both going after me so i can actually probably choose one of these guys oh wait i don't want to do that now i can choose like Already this guy done. now he's gonna be better at his job essentially he's just i just gave him a buff and with his turn uh i'm gonna let him do his thing i'm gonna go over here double click to actually move there action points so they're different from movement points but just kind of like xcom where sometimes shooting or using an ability will negate your movement like in the sense that you won't have any movement left it'll take the rest of your movement but it does a very good job of letting you know when that's gonna happen because i have two movement here but if I click this, you see it's going to spend all movement points and you can no longer take attacking abilities each turn. And that says it here at the bottom there. It says movement points with a slash to it, actions with a slash to it. But that's all well and good. We're just going to. Damn, we took out half his health. That's pretty good. And then can I double buff this man? I can. He's going to be he's going to be cooking. Let's see. Okay, he didn't cook that hard. Eee! Ay, 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 ay. And he's gonna die. Yep. I chose wrong. But he is debuffing the shit out of him. Not a problem. You didn't stand a chance. And I think that's it. What suspiciously poor timing for such an accident. Servitors malfunction on the officer's deck at exactly the same moment when the rogue trader and her heirs are gathered here. I have blocked all passages between the upper and lower sectors of the residential decks. If this is a deliberate attack, it should stop the culprits from advancing their plan. Talk to Theodora. Von Valencius. Spread out, no one allowed us to enter the premises. Station. I'm afraid I must remain here. For Lady Theodora's safety, I have to oversee the execution of these orders personally. I hope you will have no difficulty reaching the observation platform on your own. It is just at the end of this corridor. And dialogue. Uh oh. End game. <laughs> Lamal. Uh, you can open up the map to orientate yourself with M. Okay, cool. Is there anything I can pick up? The wires of the servitor's head are still smoldering. It would seem that someone caused the malfunction. Was short circuiting the motive force. Weird. Victory awaits. Yeah, the people just clean it up. Okay. Let's open this door, shall we? A new challenge for me. Tech priests working on the servitors. Well, that's a cool little rotation it's icon. Okay. That is simply irrational, Lady Theodora. Assimilation into the trade structure would be political and economic suicide, practically an admission of heresy. And suggest an alternative that we that will satisfy me. I have <laughs> described the situation no worse than my... I don't even know what the fuck that is. Seneschal. Seneschal. Cool. No worse than my Seneschal <laughs> could have done. Make a decision what will you do with Aeon 6? God, I'm terrible. 
Edelthrad is his name. Survey the room. Your first impression of Edelthrad, who appears to be in his 30s, about 30 years old, is parchment-like skin stretched over a tightly bound mass of sinew, implants, and bone. The nervously twitching fingers, the face twisted by sight, a slight tick, and jerky movements are all signs of some illnesses or defect that has taken over his physical form. In stark contrast to Edelthrad, Theodora von Valencius uh, feature, features appear as if they were carved from marvel, eternal and indestructible, head raised high, raised, <laughs> head raised high, Jesus Christ, proud posture, hands clasped casually behind her back. Everything seems to emphasize the difference in status between her and Edelthrad. Oh, behind the two of them, you see two more men, one gray haired officer with impeccable bearing who is studying the contents of his data slate and a electronic digital storage device similar to a tablet computer. OK, the other is a behemoth bristling with holsters and baldrics. I don't even know what that is containing all men or weapons. Our second candidate has joined us. Wilbur, approach and give me your answer. Oh, shit. Here we go. Passive skill tests. Okay, so those are succeeded. Oh, interesting. Even I got that one, though. The 51% chance? Or no? I don't know where that is. Oh, difficulty monitor. So it was 100%. Yeah, so was this one. Okay, cool. We got that. Consider the hypothetical situation. Aeon 6, a new world on the fringes of the Cronus Expanse. High seismic activity, regular magma inter eruptions, metamorphic rock deposits, prospects of for large scale mining. Oh. The world is populated by natives who worship the heretical underworld spirits that protect those who offer them sacrifices. Flights of fancy, you might say. But attempts to install ore extractors have failed for the second time. The mining crews sent to the planet's surface simply vanished overnight. My question is, what? My question to you is, what would you do with this poisoned treasure? Uh, the spirits could well be the natives name for the dangerous aliens. I would first verify if that is indeed the case and then, uh, and if the population of age on six invades and Xeno worship engages, Jesus Christ. I tell you what, man, I can read. I'm not in sixth grade anymore, but goddamn, do I sound like it? <laughs> there are ways to confirm whether what happened is witchcraft or not. Might cause several psychers to do so, but it, it'll give us the answer. Interesting. Why make us to make the decision? Simply sound like evidence of heresy. I do not know. Let's go with the first one, the Xenos. I want to make sure our people are safe before we send down there. Reasonable and prudent. However, chasing after ethereal creatures may prove rather long and fruitless endeavor. Apart from Xenos, the untrodden planet might be teeming with myriad horrors that are far more dangerous and difficult to eradicate. I suspect that you, Wilbur, are simply unaware of their existence. I gave a straight, simple answer, which I understand was more than you can do. <laughs> but we're both servants of the God Emperor and Lady Theodora. Does it become anyone of our status to engage in petty feuds? Um, I find your tone most disagreeable. Shut your mouth, dude. Uh, I gave a simple, straightforward answer. Insolent, arrogant upstart. How dare you? Edelthrad. I believe I gave you an assignment on your ship. On this ship. Explain to me why my senior congregator... My senior congregator is still dawdling about the officer's deck instead of proceeding to the middle decks of commerce to commerce the inspection of the compartments 
in his purview. I beg your forgiveness, Lady Theodora. Your presence has such a profound effect on me, and I <laughs> that I will not forget this thought. That I will forget the time. Oh, okay, I'm retarded. Goodbye. So, Wilbur, why are you here? Was it not you who sent for me? You have seated the opening that was offered to you in a woeful display of meekness. Admittedly, this tendency is equally strong in all the, who toil in the Emperor's service. Immutable hierarchy, <laughs> absolute obedience, lick splittery, compulsion to please, I value none of these things. From the moment my envoys came for you, the terms of your existence changed. My name is Theodora von Valencius Maceo Afscaros. Fun stuff. I'm a rogue traitor in the service of the God Emperor of Humanity. So let's go over those one more time. God Emperor, cool. Uh, my rights and freedoms are vindicated by the most sacred relic, the warrant of trade, kept aboard this very vessel. Mine is an honor to venture into the darkness beyond the Imperium and carry humanity's light where powers wicked and hereticals reign and bow death and <laughs> ruin to all of us, to us all. Um, it is my decision alone to determine the fate of whether of whatever I find the pa past the bounds of exploration void. Every world I discover, along with all there is to find thereon, resources, people, riches, and mysteries are mine by right. I command millions of lives, rule over numerous planets, and possess fortunes no that no planetary governor or commander could ever dream of amassing. And you, Wilbur, are one of those with the Von Valencia blood in your veins and a rightful claim to this inheritance when it comes when comes the hour considering you're not voiced i would say that hour is pretty soon <laughs> i'm ready to take on this sacred purpose this is all too sudden for me one of does that mean there are other heirs we already established that i'm ready to take it on Oh yes, you would be, wouldn't you? The question is, am I ready to choose you over the rest? You came aboard hours before the warp jump and have not yet distinguished yourself in any way. As things currently stand, I have doubts that you are suitable for the role of the rogue trader. Blood right alone is not enough to earn the high honor of becoming the bearer of the warrant of trade. Nonetheless, your abilities and talents may yet prove useful. If not for the role of Lord Captain, then for that of a close, their closest ally. Theodora sighs and looks away pensively uh, for a brief moment. Alas, even those responsibilities can take time, or can at times be too challenging for those who share your blood. Kunrad Vugator, I don't know, served me for many years before he made his mistake. Did I hear you correctly? The Master of Whispers is related to you his kinship to me is most distant as is yours nonetheless he does bear the name of on valencia even if he avoids using it publicly and as such strictly speaking can be considered my heir that door however is closed to him uh his performance in his current role is satisfactory or it used to be at least Thank you for clarifying. May I ask my questions now? The Vox affixed to Theodora's attire suddenly springs to life. What is a Vox? A piece of technology. Oh, it's our radio. Okay. Uh, but all you can hear is unintelligible noise. Theodora winces, shuts off the transmission, and gives you an imperious nod. I have some time before the navigator. Let's see. Yeah. Figured. Navigator. And the warp is the ethereal sea, so to speak. Uh, I have some time before the navigator gives signal to initiate the void ship's translation out of the warp, and my presence is required on the bridge. 
Uh, translation, what do you think you speak of? An incident took place on the officer's deck. Some servitors went berserk and attacked the crew. Is that so? Perhaps the Technomats were careless during maintenance. Or could it be that the warp playing tricks on us in spite of the Geller field? Jesus fuck. <laughs> what a, what a th task I have taken on with this game. Or perhaps there is something to all the stories about the ship being possessed after all. She laughs nonchalantly. Lady Theodora, the God, for God Emperor's sake, surely you do not intend to start repeating idle rumors spread about by uneducated riffraff. Enough, Abelard. Uh, such heresy amuses me. <laughs> Adira? Eagerly retelling retells me everything she learns from the whispers of her unseen servant advisors. She turns to you. The ship is thousands of years old. It has enough hidden nooks, malfunctions, cogitators, any type of digital computer. Okay. Uh, and unused compartments to make ignorant folks speak of specters dwelling inside the bulkhead and plotting against those who yet live. Where is the ship headed? The Ry Rykad system? The dominion of the rogue trader Winterscale. One of my peers and rivals. Besides me, two other rogue traders exist in the Kronos Expanse. Kronos Expanse. I think I'm saying that right. And each of them possesses resources comparable to mine. Perhaps one day you will assist House Valencius in surpassing both of them in affluence and splendor. I set the course for Riker on the demand. Theodora grimaces, gives you a stern look, then shrugs. For a very specific reason. Perhaps I shall yet apprise you of, uh, on the purpose of the voyage, but now is not the time. Gracious court Lord Captain, surely there's a way to prove myself worthy of her. Uh, what are my current responsibilities? Observe, learn, absorb. It will take time for you to find your bearings abroad, aboard this vessel, sorry, and in your new position. Eventually, I will find a post that suits you, as did I, as I did for Edelthread. Until that time comes, consider yourself my aid. I have no more questions. In that case, I shall head to Vox Awakens once more, this time picking up shouting. The Lord Captain freezes, listening to the Vox cast, then nods and draws her weapon. Disturbances reported on the adjacent decks. I already forgot how to pronounce that word. Seneschal. If the need arises, protect my the new blood. She glances at you. It is possible that the chance to prove yourself may present itself sooner than you may have anticipated. <laughs> He's shooting through that bookcase, bro. Come on, man. Submit. And you'll die quickly. I'll turn okay. You into corpse starch. Theodore has 205 health. I have 20. Jesus, so does Mart. I'm guessing Abelard's an actual character because of, uh. Well, he's got a portrait. But he has normal ass health. <laughs> uh, all combatants act in turns. Yeah, initiative. Okay, I get it. Let's start the battle. I guess she's like me, just a buffer. Used to dust. Yo. One fewer dust. Die. God damn, boy. Brace yourself, Abelard. Okay, cover. Use cover to avoid enemy attacks. 
to avoid ranged attacks. Full cover indicated by the skull and the shield reduces the chance to hit uh, the character by 60%. Partial cover reduces it by 35. Although the chance to hit a character behind cover may vary depending on the difficulty of the game, you choose... Oh, God. You choose? <laughs> it can be altered by certain abilities, talents, and effects. Okay. Character does not receive bonuses attacked from the side. So we want to get right there. And then we want to... I'll Let's shoot at this guy since it's 90%. This. Nice. That was a crit, apparently. Critical hit? Yeah, 150% damage. Cool. And then I will guess... I'll Nothing say you serve me. That'll buff him up. Not and I'll specialty. give him... Oh, I guess I can't. I don't have time for this. Does it have to be on an ally I control? One friendly creature within 10 cell radius. So I can't do it on her. Okay. Oh, well. Damn, dodged. I've suffered worse. Damn, he tanky. Dodge. Lamau. Get fucked. God damn. Attack of opportunity, apparently. Nice one. cleave. Charge, kill someone else. More can probably take on. Okay. Guess there's no friendly fire. I have. I. Well. I have this guy right here that's 34%, or I have this guy which is 73%. And a missed. Epic. I'll pass. Not my specialty. Okay. Yeah, they missed too. Yeah, I doubt she's going to be missing. Damn, dead. Cool. Theodore waves her hand in commanding gesture. And Mort, take the team with you and clear the path transit line to the transit line. Do not let a single horse son survive. The rogue trader turns her eyes to you. Didn't bat an eye when the, that scum burst on the deck, eh? Not bad. I have many an officer who panicked at the sight of combat on the upper decks. The false sense of security offered by their position makes them that much more vulnerable to the harsh rea realities of the warp travel. She looks at the Vox in her hand. All you can hear is lifeless static. What are your orders? Uh, she breaks eye contact. And Mort has gone ahead to clear the path for us. If you want to make yourself useful, go after him and see if the arch militant requires aid and be quick about it. Okay. I don't know why the camera zoomed over there. I guess I have to go this way. Oh, was he over this way? Is that where he went? Looks like there are people over there. I won't tolerate weakness. Okay, calm down, dude. We're kind of just moving. They're all kind of moving. Oh, there he is. Mort. Get fucked. Get shit on. Your ass. Okay. Thank Providence you're alive and well. Always on time, eh, Conrad? The moment we finish off chasing the riffraff around the deck, you show up. Always just after the fighting's done. You could set your chrono by it. Mort, pull yourself together. What did the Lord Captain send you to shivy any us anyway? <laughs> We're all but done here. I'll report right away. Uh, 
Okay. Just slowly walk up. Master of Whispers. What happened on my ship? What is happening on my ship? The Vox Nex is silent. The Vox Master is not responding. Armed assailants have stormed the officer's death. And my arch militant just destroyed several more heretics on their way here. Is this the severe case of warp madness? Have some of my crew lost their minds and forgotten who they were and whom they serve? Report. I have not yet received word from the Ingenarium. <laughs> These fucking words, dude. <laughs> Regarding any Gellerfield failures. The communications were already unstable uh, half an hour ago. And now they have ceased altogether. Whatever the cause may be, the consequences are, are spreading fast. I am receiving scattered reports from the middle decks and the only Vox cast from the lower bays are one way heretical gibberish. That the madman have already reached the officer's death suggests that this outrage is planned in advance. Perhaps this is organized mutiny. Mutiny? Who would attempt mutiny here in the warp? Lunatics, fools, heretics, the ship houses thousands upon thousands of people. Pernicious thoughts and warp induced delusions could have tainted any of them. It is a difficult notion to accept, but such risks are inescapable. First, we have to confirm that the builder, that the bridge and the, ma and the navigator's sanctum are secure. I have the means to do both things at once. Edelthread, where is he? I must know if he is unharmed. A psyker aboard the ship that is potentially being assailed by the warp could pose a greater threat to himself than others and others than the whole army of madmen with improvised weapons. I tried to locate him, but the last thing I know is movements are arrived on trans transitional deck 18. Last it, Master Whispered, find him immediately. Uh, locate Talas and Sister of Battle, and the Sister of Battle. Both are to remain at my side. Arch Militant with me? I must go to the, my study. It appears we might have encountered her heretics along the way. Wilbur? If I may, Lord Captain, Transitional Deck 18 is at the heart of the disturbance, and if our goal is to bring Edoth Edelthrad back, I could use some support. After all, I'm not as adept at directly confronting enemies in the house of the house as the esteemed arch militant. And talking to taking into consideration Edelthred, Edelthred's psychic psyker powers. Then it's settled. Wilbur, find Edelthrag and bring him here in whatever state you find him. This elevator, she points at the massive doors, leads to restricted compartments such as my personal chambers and the bridge. Do not let me down. I require both of you. Do you understand? Uh, I hear and obey, Lord Captain. I shall do everything in my power. Not everything in your power. You will do as I say. <laughs> okay, fair enough. You have your heads and if you fail. Ooh, I'll have your heads if you fail. Is that clear? Then move out. Mort, come. Okay, on we go. He gives you a nod. Are you ready to head to 18? It is a long walk and you don't... You do not even have the proper gear. I shall make do lead the way. I have a proposition since I am the more important person here. You can go in front of me as a shield for potential threats. You had better not fail me. The Lord Captain made it clear that we're lying on the fraught with risk. It's fraught with risk. I shall make do. Lead the way. Of course you will. He rummages in his pocket for something. Lady Theodora would never have someone she couldn't rely on as one of her heirs. But that is no longer relevant. With a pop and a sharp crackle, something hits you in the abdomen and you are consumed by unbearable gut-wrenching pain. He stabbed me? Yeah. 
I promise a special you a special destiny. It will fulfill it. Ow! My dick. You kicked it. Careful, careful. Be gentle with our guest. He has an important mission to complete during our visit to the Warren Chamber. And for that, I need him breathing. Oh, you are back with us, I see. Delightful. Vault Gutterver, you <laughs> two-faced scum. You're the one behind this mayhem? How perceptive of you. I'll help you with the next insight. I need you here for your blood. You have the option to share it voluntarily, or I will squeeze it out of you myself. We are in the anteroom of the Warren Chamber, this void ship's most hallowed vault. There, beyond those gates, lies the relic that gives Theodora all of her power. The sacred Warren of Trade. Only one obstacle remains on my path to obtaining it. The gates of the chamber are guarded by the Sentinel, an ancient device that will only open the door to a true heir of the dynasty. I expected to do this part myself, but never mind. You will offer your blood to the Sentinel. Probably my favorite aesthetic choice of uh, Warhammer 40k is their obscene use of candles. This is fucking outrageous. Okay, anyway, why are you doing this? <laughs> what is it, inbred? Is your blood too thin for the Sentinel? On the contrary, the Warp's blessing has raised me too much above your kind, Fon Valencius. The Sentinel refused to submit Valencius. to me. But you can help. After all, isn't that what family is for? What sorry, pathetic excuse do you even have for an auto- for your- Aposty. Apostasy? You sordid, wretched piece of grog shit. Wretched. What do you know about wretchedness? Theodorus Kerr. Are you hoping to buy a grain of her indulgence with your blind loyalty? Oh, I know this delusion. But thank the gods it no longer has power over me. Humanity can rot. I no longer serve mortal kind. Once my work is done, I'll make that pompous wrench. Von Valencius watch as I sacrifice her entire dynasty and commit their fate to the gods. And you will be the instrument by which I will accomplish this righteous act. Skill tests and dialogue, yeah. The blade flashes in a dim light and drops of blood appear on your palm. For a brief moment, you feel nauseous. Your head is spinning. And then quiet whispers begin to flood your mind. More and more sourceless voices echo each other, drowning out your own thoughts, replacing them with a single urge. Go to the gate. Go to the gate. Go to the gate. Get out, I am not your puppet. The voices in your head gurgle and mock you desperately, or your desperate cry. You feel the intruding influence forcing you into, onto your feet and making you take a step towards the gate looming in the center of the chamber. Well, so much for choice. Uh, in the gateway arch, you see a cogitator uh, with a human likeness built into the front panel. As you approach, the twisted torso twitches slightly. This is a servitor. What a servitor? Mindless cybernetic drones created from a fission of human flesh and robotic technology used to carry out simple manual tasks. An obedient automaton created from your by a from a lobotomized human being the sentinel turns its head to you one of its eye sockets lighting up with two ember-like irises examine the device 45 succeeded gain 20 experience cool 
You carefully inspect the design of the gate. Uh, what immediately catches your eye is a strange alloy that is used for the material of the machine's components, some of which are unfamiliar to you. You suspect this might be some kind of Arknotech relic. An incredibly rare and powerful piece of technology of humanity's ancient past. Server on the gate begins to move with the screeching and groaning of its metal. Of metal, it leans forward closer to you. It lowers its jaw open and drawn with that drawn out shriek much wider than a jaw of a living human can could. The servitor's mouth is filled with sharp metallic fangs that glint in the dim light. The vid screen to the right of you lights up, showing strings of mysterious symbols on a green background. That one? A whisper runs through your consciousness, ir insisting, demanding sacrifice. The voices that filled your head after Vodagir Voidgeter I don't know how to say his fucking name. Conrad. I'm just going to call him Conrad. Uh, wounded you with his blade. Do not go away. On the contrary, their source coiled itself into a tight knot somewhere in the depths of your mind. Examine the sentinel. Place your hand in the sentinel's maw. Look back. Look back. Oh, shit. Look for anything that could be used as a weapon. You look around hopes of finding something that could be used as a weapon. Your search is in vain. The chamber anti- room it's completely empty and a perfect working condition nary a broken panel or protruding piece of rebar in sight look back did you forget something i suggest you hurry place my hand in the mall the sentinel's jaws clamp down around your hand puncturing your skin and seeking into your flesh a few dark drops fall onto the servitor's throat and immediately you hear humming and servo motors start up and their pumps stir into motion. The vid screen flickers. Several long minutes pass. The Sentinel's jaws remain closed and you are beginning to feel sick. Perhaps you were to lean against the gate, you could catch your breath, maybe even close your eyes and pretend no one, none of this ever happened. High levels of caustic humors. The subject is in a state of heightened stress. Do you require assistance? You do not understand where the quiet voice is coming from. Clackling, clackling, fuck, <laughs> crackling like static. Is it the sentinel? The computer? Is it a figment of your wary mind? Whichever it is, you can clear it. Clearly hear every word. Who is this? Genetic code identified. Child of House von Valencius. Do you require assistance? Yes, Sentinel. Traitors threaten the life, my life, and the safety of the warrant. Pain shoots through your head and subsides just as quickly. It would seem the entity coiled in your consciousness does not have the ability to do you any real harm. Request accepted. Initiating defense protocol. God damn. Well, there is still another way. Check the Warren chamber. My hurt? What is that symbol? Old injury. Injury that wasn't healed in time. It can be healed with a med kit, but it requires passing a Medicaid check. Okay. Too many injuries reduce the character's resolve and cause traumas. Victory awaits! Holy shit. That's the fucking warrant? Goes all the way down there.
Escort the child of the house to safety. I need to contact someone, preferably Theodora. Voxcast frequencies disrupted. Initiating setup. Establishing connection. Voxmaster, restore communications for the with the navigator's sanctum. I'm trying to contact the bridge. If anyone can hear this on frequency, regroup all available forces and head to the upper decks at once. I repeat, regroup all available forces and head. Communication protocols breached. Signal latency assessment unavailable. Unable to establish two-way connection. I need a weapon. I'm utterly Distance defenseless. From the current location to the nearest arsenal. Initiating situational calculations. What madness is ha happening here? Who are you? Who addresses Temporary me? Temporary obnubilation following acute stress. Mobile unit of the Warren Sentinel standing by. Lead me away from here. Middle and upper decks. Assuming the probability of safe placement in areas of concentration of armed units. Calculating. To prevent unauthorized units from breaching the warrant chamber, preemptive sealing must be initiated. The mobile unit will start executing the received order immediately after the safety of the warrant is secured. Okay, journal. There's J for journal. Cool. None shall stand in my way. Let's close it up, shall we? Master, what, whatever are you doing in the Warren Chamber? How did you, throne preserve me? What is the meaning of this? Uh, Conrad is a traitor. When we parted ways on the officer's deck, he stunned me somehow and brought me here. What? He intended to take revenge on Theodore for something and trying to reach the warrant was somehow part of that plan. Oh, holy God, Emperor. I presume he is the one responsible for the mutiny. Bandmaster, I wish to remind you that you are to refer to the Lord Captain as Lady Theodora. He open it, openly admitted that he was the mastermind behind this mutiny. Saints blood. And it is small wonder that the heretics are so well organized. I thought his order to seal the passages between decks was his attempt to stop the attackers from spreading to other levels. But now I see the real reason. It was to stop the enforcers from intervening. At least you are alive and now safe, master. Alas, I doubt we can afford to look for a compartment to sit out this disaster. Hmm. You're in a bad way. I can treat your wounds. I have a Medicaid kit with me. And for the love of the throne, now is not a good time to be walking around the decks without means of self-defense. Here. Revolver, sword, armored body glove, and a med kit. Find a weapon. Accept Abelard's aid. Cool. So when fighting, wounds is basically your health. They just call it wounds in this. Uh, your character has suffered an injury, uh, exceeds 50% of their maximum in one round. Ooh, okay. Set percentage of wounds to the character. Injuries can do their resolve. Heal it with a skill check. Okay. This combat is over all wounds of the party member rep replenish automatically and injuries that they've sustained remain okay so basically we get f healed up to full your seneschal is always there for you <laughs> thank you now where were we so he's we got act. uh how do i access inventory i let's put that there that in our secondary slot Equip that, and then I don't have time for this. Do I not have? Can't be equipped by this character, really? Okay, well then, why is it even? I wonder how I transfer stuff between players. 
That is a noticeable improvement. Now you're prepared for the trials ahead. The lower decks are teeming with heretics, instigating the rabble to revolt. But that is the least of our problems. The ship's enforcers are rounding up the scoundrels and suppressing the resistance. The situation on the middle decks is much worse, although strike teams have already been dispatched there. All communication with the bridge and the engineering bay was lost. So, apart from scattered voxcasts, we have no information to go on. But that is not the worst of it all. All these jolts and shaking are most alarming. These are signs that the navigator and the master helmsman are having difficulty translating the ship out of the wall and into real space. I fear that they may have already lost control. We must reach the navigator's sanctum and get a handle on the situation. If we can manage that, some of all this vessel may yet survive. How did you find me? You sent me a Vox message. Specifically, a Vox cast on the officer's frequency, which I had the good fortune to receive. You mean to say you did no such thing? I think the Warren Sentinel may have sent a message. It appeared when I opened the chamber. Warren Sentinel? The Lord Captain barely ever ventures down to the chamber, and I was at her side only once or twice when she did. And I did not see anything of the sort. The Warren Chamber is an ancient and rather sacred mechanism that the ship's tech priests treat with the utmost reverence. I assume that whatever it is that you did, you must have activated certain processes and caused the Sentinel to awaken. But then, why did none of it happen when Lady Theodora did the same? Uh, how do you... How can we... What can we expect to find in the Navigator's Sanctum? During warp transit, the Sanctum is closed to all who are not involved in traversing the Empyrean. And for good reason. For the Navigator to open their third eye and perceive the way, the Sanctum must be bathed in the energies of the Immaterium. Only a navigator can withstand such an ordeal. For the rest of us, any contact with the warp is fraught with perils such as loss of sanity, spontaneous mutations, and death. I heard one of Theodora's Vox cats. Which one? The last one I received was about the navigator's sanctum, and that was a good while ago. In any case, let us hope that the Lord Captain is well and safely in charge of the ship's defense. What exactly has In gone meantime, wrong with the translation? Oh no shit, help. I thought he was over. Oh, God Emperor, preserve me, Navigator. However, I've spent my entire life aboard void ships equipped with warp drives, and I know that portents such as these do not bode well. It could be that the Geller field has faltered. Perhaps the Navigator was struck down by warp corruption and is fighting for the last shreds of his humanity as we speak. If we get thrown off course, we will be forever lost in the war. Naturally, we would likely not have long to live in that scenario. But I will not resign myself to such an outcome just yet. For the Imperium and humanity, lead the way. Cut. Lead the way. To arms, loyal sons and daughters of the God Emperor. Fight the heresy and corruption that threatens to consume our home. And with all your might, destroy those who have dared. The Lord Captain is calling her crew to battle. Which means the Vox networks are set up for broadcast transmission, not message exchange. Splendid. While the rogue trader inspires proper resolve to fight in her subjects, you and I shall prove that her trust in us is well deserved. Onward. Close ranks. Cross Tactical phase. Okay, so when the when the game starts. When, when combat starts, you can basically pick and choose where you want to start. You basically just put a character somewhere, and then I want him to be, like, back here, you know? Or something like that. I'll try back here. No, I want to be in so I can at least do some damage. And then start battle. Abilities in combat. They have an area effect, blah, 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 blah. New abilities and talents. Yeah. So I have a 22% chance to hit either one of those guys. This uh, basically 
I don't know. A burst fire with equipped pistol. I don't know if it has... If it's just one shot, though. Because this one is literally just shoot once. Whereas this one has three bullets. We'll see. Already done. And it sucks. Okay, but it does shoot more than once. Uh, let me boost Abelard here. All too easy. Easy stuff. Charge unique ability. They want me to use it. And then the melee attacks area of attacks. So I can uh, strike or I can cleave. Cleave would be good for right here, maybe? No, it's okay. So it has to be right here and then cleave. Try right and there. tested tactics are the best ones. You a target. Okay. Opportunity of tax. If he moves out of the way, they'll deal damage to him. So Victory I want to imminent. put this on. Race for impact. And then I want to kill someone with the charge. I took care of this one. That'd be good. He's got hella parry, which is good. And if he comes in from the side, I can do a cleave. And, uh, and they didn't even do damage to him. Okay, so let me shoot this guy. Never mind. I suck. Can I do this again? No. Does it say I can only do this? In no, it says a round cooldown. This is the one that I can only do once per combat. And then we go cleave Indeed. here. Dominance achieved. Get fucked. Okay. And then I'll just wait to kill him. Because he'll parry. Yeah. Please do something, Wilbur. Suits my purpose. Good shit. Okay, we leveled up. We get to pick our talents and stuff. I'll lay claim to the stars. Okay, so... Let's level up and then call it there. I get to do one of these. We'll definitely go persuasion. Give me a plus. Uh, it'll put me up to 65, which is cool. And then apply. And then for you, let's see here. Coerce, athletics, coercion. Coerce is the one that's related to toughness, right? Coercion is fellowship. Athletics. We'll go coerce. Or caruse, sorry. Or should we go athletics? Athletics is what? Strength characteristic. Traverse difficult terrain, for example, to leap over collapsed sections. Yeah, let's do this one, I guess. That'll be good. All right. Well, thanks for coming along with this little journey of mine. I know I read at a third grade level, but we'll get there eventually. I'll see you in the next one.